Welcome back, everyone. We've all heard about them, maybe involved in the past doing them. We're talking about network marketing. You know, selling stuff, building a team, and then they sell stuff under you. It's gotten a bad rap, but a new book out right here by a mother and daughter from here in the Valley may just change your mind. We have Lori Muirhead joining us this morning, along with her mom, Janine Finney, and they are the Flip Flop CEOs. <laughs> How are you guys doing this morning? Great. Thank How are you? you. Good. I'm really interested in learning about this because these days a lot of um, moms would love to be able to stay home to raise their children. I know you have two little ones yeah. too. So how did this all come about getting the book together and what how did you turn something into a business I guess is the question right? Yes. Yes. Oh basically <laughs> um, it's all around the stigma of network marketing. I was young, naive, fresh out of college and wanted to plan my life first then figure out how to fund that financially uh -huh. and everyone thought I was crazy for really wanting to plan my uh, work around my life rather than my life around my work which, which is, is what, so which is what everyone does yes, days, unfortunately and so yeah. everyone thought that's that doesn't exist you can't find it and my mom who I thought we were gonna go into business together we had always had several ideas and when I discovered um, network marketing I was like this is brilliant and she thought <laughs> No. no way. <laughs> no. Because it's gotten a bad yeah. rap, right? It's, uh, they always exactly. say, oh, it's a scam, don't even get involved. Exactly. It sounds too good to be true. Exactly. All those things. And I had somebody that tried to recruit me into network marketing 30 years ago, mm -hmm. and they used the bait and switch tactic where I got invited over for dinner, and then all of a sudden the door slams, oh, and no. the screen comes down, and I just thought, I will never, ever, ever be in this business. And so when Lori was excited, I kind of really wanted to show her that she was pretty naive, uh -huh. and that it was not what she <laughs> she thought and what ended up happening is that I found out that she was right and it is really the coolest career out there but the stigma is what keeps people from discovering it sure so that's really why we wrote the book and how you guys wrote this book and this is for those women out there who want to take control of their own careers in that right. sense right exactly. trade in their heels for their flip-flops oh, yeah. yes. now I get the title <laughs> and the cool part is really having the CEO income with the flip-flop lifestyle because we're not going to give up the income we want that business we want that um, lifestyle for sure, sure. The money but we also want to live our life as a mom as a grandma she gets to be a stay-at-home grandma now that she never got to be as a single mom before so. that is awesome so where do we even start because you know what are the steps for this you look at it you're like all right I want to do that but where do I even start well first you need to evaluate your life you need to take a look and see what's working what's not working mm -hmm. figure out what you want your life to actually look like so envision that then get educated educate yourself on what your choices are yeah. My mom didn't know she had choices for so many years as a single mom, like I said, didn't know that. There are so many brilliant, savvy, smart, fun, professional women that mm -hmm. don't look at this seriously because they don't even think you can make a six-figure income and live in your flip-flops. And so get educated and know what your options are. Execute a plan. Be open to the possibilities. Be open to the fact that it may not look like the way you think it would. and Which is what kept me from seeing it. And mm -hmm. I think there's so many people out there that are looking for something, but this is not where they're going to look. Because yeah, right. they, they think they would never do this. So what did you end up going into in terms of market, uh, network marketing that was a success for you? The this, this specific business? Because mm -hmm. we like to be so general. Yeah. Um, we did pick a business that resonates with us. We have been very successful. And we know that you you can be a mom, a grandma, any age, any background, and pick something that resonates with you. So we want to stay true to um, just we believe in this industry. We know it's gotten a bad rap. Some of that is so many just old beliefs built up over 30 years. And, you know, we get the stigma. If you're sitting there rolling your eyes going, that doesn't work, and I've been there before, you know, we're here to tell you it does work. And